Hello folks, welcome to today's demonstration video of my eShop project. In today's video, I am going to explain about the user interface of our administrator panel. So without further ado, let's get into this. So as you can see, this is the view of our administrator panel UI. This dashboard section is giving a quick summary of daily earnings. Then monthly earnings. Then today's sellings. Then monthly sellings. Then total sellings. Then total engagements. Then this line is showing total active business time of our eShop. Then this section is showing best selling product of today. Then this section is showing most popular seller. Then we can see name of the signed in administrator here. Using these navigation pills, administrators can access manage users page, then manage products page. Then administrators can get a quick summary of the selling's history from one date to another date using this section. Alright, so now let's check out the responsiveness of this page to various display resolutions. In this case, we are only focusing on the larger and smaller display resolutions. So this is the view that we are getting on a larger display resolution. Okay, now I'm gonna decrease the display resolution virtually. Alright, now this is the view that we are getting on a smaller display resolution. As you can see, now it has a more compact structure to fit on that smaller display resolution. So that's all about it, let's get into our code inside of things. I am currently viewing the admin panel.php file. To keep our page running in the state, it should be I am linking some other files inside of it. First, as usual, inside of these head tags, I am linking our bootstrap.css file. Then bootstrap icons.css file. Then finally, our own style.css file. Then we are adding a linear gradient color scheme to our body section like this. These codes are showing first name and the last name of the signed in administrator. Then we are adding a horizontal line here like this. These codes are creating that navigation pills section of our page. These codes are creating that section with those two fields which are from date and to date. As you can see input type of both of these fields are set to date. Then these are codes of that dashboard section. These codes are adding the title of that section like this. Then we are adding a horizontal line here like this.
codes inside of these div tags are showing quick summary information on the page. These codes are creating that total active time showing section. Then these codes are creating that section which is showing today's most selling product. Then these codes are creating that section which is showing the most popular seller. So folks, that's all I have to explain in this video. Stay tuned for the next one. See ya.